most people agree with, excuse me, disagree with me on the Rick Santorum thing. And I'm going to tell you this. First, if and when I ever have a kid, and if and when I should ever have a kid who I lose, then I'm not going to do what Rick Santorum did. If anyone else wants to do that, what Rick Santorum did, if that's their shtick, just please don't make it public if you're going to do that, because especially for Jews like me who see that, we understand why I'm a Jewish Christian, and those who are like me and who agree that Rick Santorum desecrated his child's body by doing that, we can see why if we weren't Christians, we wouldn't be Christians. I, I already mentioned this before. I think about my relatives who were crypto Jews, and they might have assimilated in some respects, but they never, never even, as far as I know, participated in the practice of taking post-mortem photos, how much more would they find that playing with a child's body as if the child were still alive disgusting? And I think about when, as I understand it, since unfortunately I didn't grow up knowing that I'm Jewish, and I once read, this is where the thinking comes from on burying the decedent's body within one to three days if you can, and a week or so at maximum, if you absolutely have to wait a week or so. This is where the thinking comes from, and this is what I read. If a criminal was to be taken down from the tree the same day and buried by sunset, how much more, how much more do you... And unfortunately, my computer froze up here, so let me let me try to say what I was going to say. But anyway, if a criminal who was hung on a tree or otherwise stoned or whatever, if he or she was to be buried by sundown, how much more a righteous person who didn't do anything, and who had died, how much more was their life to be sanctified, and how much more were their body or their remains, how much more would they have their remains and their, and their life and death sanctified by burying, or by having the burial before sundown, so, as I said, I can see why many of my own relatives absolutely refuse to be actual Catholics or actual Christians, because when they see stuff like with what Rick Santorum did, they think, well, gee, there's a desecration of the body. You're still playing with the child's body like the child is still alive. Let the child rest in peace. Let the child be buried. Let the child be remembered and sanctified, and then we can just bury the child as quickly as possible, mourn him or her once we've buried him or her, and sit Shiva or do whatever we're going to do. And as I said, I know that many people disagree with me, but as I said, I've already vowed that if and when I should ever lose a child, I'm not going to do what Rick Santorum did. I'm going to do what my relatives, including, for lack of a better term, my ancestors did, which was they buried the body of any decedent as soon as possible. They did the mourning. Now, some of them, unfortunately, did get into doing the viewings and all that, because, as I said, they were crypto-Jews. They didn't want to admit they were Jewish. But, they pretty much buried the body as soon as possible, and they didn't go into playing with the body of a child as if the child was still alive. They buried the body as quickly as possible. And as I said, they sanctified... They 
sanctified a child's life and they let the child rest in peace. 